You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, my last couple of reviews have been about historical fiction books, mostly in the form of diaries. And I have decided to do one more. Um, this is called The Royal Diaries, Eleanor, um, Crown Jewel of Aquentine, France, 1136 AD by Christina Gregory. This one is also a historical fiction book. It looked interesting, so um, here's, this, here's what this one is about. June 24th, such, such is excitement. The horsemen announced travelers and Count Geoffrey of Anjou arrived an hour later with some of his chivalrous. Petra and I peered down from the stairs to the great hall and saw the visitors. I decided we must put on our loveliest dresses right away. The Count is taller and even more striking than father. Geoffrey the Handsome is our name for him. When he pushed back his hood of chain mail, his hair fell to his shoulders in brown curls. The tunic over his armor was blue with the golden crest. He and Father greeted each other warmly. The reason for Count Geoffrey's visit? He has invited Father to go to war. He is just 23 years old and needs help invading Normandy. And without thinking twice, Father said yes. I worry he has made another terrible decision. So, um, now what you have to remember about these books is that Eleanor in this story, there's a picture of her right here, um, is royalty. And in those days, only the wealthiest people were learned. So, only the richest people were taught to read, taught to write. Women were taught to write and sew and um, also they were taught how to um, handle falcons and um, also ride horseback, things like that. And boys were instruct instructed in knighthood. So they were taught to protect, they were taught to fight bows and arrows and all, all manner of weapons, I'm sure, that were available at the time. So what I like about these books is that um, there is history in them, and these stories are based off of real people. And what I like about them is in the epilogue, they tell about the real people that lived long ago. So they, they talk about the history, they talk about who each one person is. So like they go into detail about the royal family and where they come from, who was who in the story, where they lived, died, things like that. Um, this, um, this particular book does have a Kindle edition, you guys. I'm excited because the last couple historical fiction books have not had a Kindle edition. They've only had like a paperback book or something. Um, one thing I did notice on this Amazon link that I will put in the description below, that it does have a different book cover, you guys. So it's not going to be the same one as I have shown you today. So... That is the biggest difference with that. Um, so, it does have a Kindle edition. Um, if you guys are really into history, I highly recommend these historical fiction little diaries. And um, so you can see what it really was like living in that time period and seeing the intimate thoughts and feelings of... Eleanor 
and other people that lived long ago. I mean, because it was so long ago, we don't have a lot to go on because it says in this book that Eleanor became a queen of France and her last remaining years they don't know much about because she did not write in a diary that long. Um, and again, this, this diary is based off of what they know about her. So, um, it's historically accurate, but there is still kind of some speculation. But Eleanor was only 15 when she wed, and she became a queen at 15 which I think is very telling of a person like that. It's like, wow, you know, you discover that you're royalty and then all of a sudden you are given this monumentous task to make sure everybody and everything is in order in your kingdom. And I think that's a lot for a 15 year old. Um, so, um, that's the book review for today. Um, I am going to be starting probably, um, some ebooks that I purchased, um, for free or nearly free. So I will start on that. There might be a series that in those ebooks that I purchased that I might start doing. Um, there's a couple books I want to get to as well. So, um, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow for another book review. Bye, guys.